Hi all, welcome to the Storyline Yanis Hagi play review 87 rated card which you can unlock, you could have unlocked them on Friday or even yesterday depending how quick you could get through all the respective objectives, there's still tons that I have still to do and I would be level 16 but um, we've grinded pretty hard, we've got them done and dusted so if you can smash the links would be awesome, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G of the Legend all the links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always comment down below if you're going to go for Haji, Agudolo or El Yunusi I only went for Haji because I know for a lot of people they want to see by having a strong link to Kent it won't make a big difference, I know a lot of people will still have icons and like El Yunusi has two good key positive stats in his Arsenal, which is pace, dribbling, and four star skill moves, four star weak foot. Hadji has five star weak foot, three star skill moves. Um, Agudulo has four star skill moves, five star weak foot. If it was me personally, I'd probably just go for um, El Unusi if I was not um, overly fussed about the cards. But Hadji's card looks really fun. Um, looking at some of his individual base stats, but when you kind of break them all down. Um, it's just that added extra pace that might just go in Hadji's favour. Plus he's a central card, that's kind of why a lot of people will want his card as well. Um, that's kind of a big reasoning. El Unusi can also be used as a link up to Haland even, if it comes to depending on what your team suits as well. But we're going to break Hadji down, see what he's like, I'll hopefully try and get El Unusi. I've asked a few mates that have got... Um, that are going from so I'll see if they get him quick enough and I'll try and get a review up of him but regardless Hadji fits into our 4-3-3 team obviously doesn't start folks we know that right away Rivaldo comes in and where Hadji is currently and then what we do is we then in game do a quick sub get Hadji in and then we change the team to the 4-2-3-1 that we like to go in game Hadji plays central cam where Rivaldo would play anyway and that is kind of where we go from there with Hadji now, right away off the bat, obviously, pros are a free card and it's all round. Cons, obviously, are the league because it's SPFL. N not many people are a big fan of the league, despite having some nice individual cards that we've had this year, like um, Team of Tournament Morelos and Road to the Final Kent. As I said, three star skills is another negative that I've kind of noticed about him. But in the five games he's played, he has got me eight goals. And three of the games, he was pretty much the main man in that game. The other two, one of them, um, he'd done alright, he was just unlucky. Um, my opponent, I think, kind of had just the better of me in that game, and then the other one just wasn't happening. Now, breakdown of stats 93 pace, 85 shot, 84 pass, 88 dribbling, 45 defending, and 78 physical. He's got 95 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, 85 shot, 82 positioning, 83 finishing, 80 sock shot power, 90 long shot, 16 volleys. 82 penalties, like his finishing was really good, I've not really seen anything that would make me say um, his finishing is actually a problem, he's pretty much taken like every chance he gets, so I'm pretty pleased with that. 87 vision, that is, he's much, I've seen much better than that, but each their own of course. 73 crossing, 76 free kicks, 87 short pass, 85 long pass, passing has been on point, 94 curve is very apparent, 98 agility, 80 balance, 80 reactions, 86 ball control, 89 dribbling, 82 composure. Now obviously when you've got El Yunusi, they are massively higher in that department so that is where a lot of people will prefer El Yunusi. Um, so keep that in mind. Like defending no big deal, 66 in accuracy um, but obviously the other two have much better in that department for what I've seen. 40 jumping which is a bit of an issue whereas obviously the others have much higher 97 stamina, 76 strength, 65 aggression but stamina is obviously the big positive over the three now when I kind of went over each of the cards individually um, when you kind of break them all down it's each of them just have the same kind of elements where it's um, like say maybe in the passing element it's like one's better than the other or one's better in the pace, one's better it, like when you break down the total in game stats he's got 473 total stats, 2205 total in game stats Angudulo is 486 2297 and El is 482 with 2326 so there's about 121 difference between El Yunusi and Haji now Haji obviously for the alternatives is the only other one there is Kent if I was doing El Yunusi is a player of you, the alternative obviously is Forest, um, most logical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into foot champs games with him, see how he, um, like see how he performed, 
get into them, see how, what kind of results we get, obviously. But for me, I would fundamentally say, um, looking at the cards, Elgin and Hadji look the two that I would personally go for. Depending on what your team needs the most, if you're lacking a winger, looking at it, El Unice looks like he ticks a lot of the boxes. I know at this stage of FIFA as well, we've got team of the season, so um, for a lot of people, they might be like, ah, these cards are just SBC for it, I don't really care. Unless you're a Celtic a Rangers fan, or a Norwegian, or a Romanian fan, then I would imagine that's maybe the only time as well you may be interested in these particular cards. But for what I've played of Hadji, um, what I would say of Hadji, he's definitely going to be a 9 out of 10. 8 or 9 out of 10. He looks a very, very fun card. Um, because he breaks down the play beautifully, I felt. Like, and this was food champs. Like, I've played a lot of rivals this weekend. And I've been like bored in my mind. I've even I've won a lot of games. I've got like I'm fine, been playing really well. But when I've been playing foot champs, I thought oh this will be a struggle. It would be wouldn't go to plan. Hadji for me usually when I've got Rivaldo. Rivaldo is usually the man that can help break down a few attacks as well. What I was noticing, Hadji was doing it even better than Rivaldo, and I was finding this quite flabbergasted. Like, yes, I was trying to put a lot of the focus on Hadji, but even when the opportunity was presented to Jesus or um, Neymar or um, Bernardo Silva, Hadji was still kind of doing the business. And that is what you kind of want in like your, your cam. Like, and the thing is, Hadji's not exactly hard to link up if you've got a few icons. It's easy enough to, if you get his um, dad, um, whether it be his prime moments, or even or if you've packed maybe his card from um, Prime Icon Pack, from Icon Swap say for example, then you could be laughing. It's easy enough to link up two cams, depending on what um, formation you run with them, but he is such a fun card. Like I genuinely was thinking, have I made a bad move going Hadji? I will be honest, I was like, initially you have that kind of self-doubt because yes I'm a, I'm, like, I'm a Hibs fan, so like technically you'd think why am I really that fussed, but I just wanted, for me, it's like, Hadji argued a lot of is just fodder for me, pretty much. But at the same time, if I was to do like an SPFL, any SPFL content, I know if I've got the best, near enough, the best possible team in the league, then it never hurts. But I would honestly say that this card is a lot of fun, honestly. Like, like the weak foot is evident. Like, if I saw weak foot was on point, like I can't skill. But the last couple of games, I was trying to actually, trying to at least do skills to like dribble past my opponents just to try and see if I could get any um, difference out of them. But for me, if you're going um, with Hadji, um, play him as a central cam. I wouldn't play him as a left cam, I wouldn't play him as a right cam. Play him, I feel centrally seems to be where he was working best. He doesn't drop back. Like I was keeping the same instructions for him that I would implement for Rivaldo. He was staying forward. He was linking up the attacks, and he was always in the right positions when I needed them. If he was needing to be um, giving a through ball to Neymar, or to Bernardo Silva, or Jesus, he was always doing it, and that's what I felt was needed. I felt if he'd been like left attacking mid, he might have been out of, out, either out of position or wasted. Uh, let him get that kind of bit of free roaming to push through and do the business. I think looking at Agudulo and El Yunusi as well, I think El Yunusi will be able to do what you need a lot better, I will be actually honest. The reason being solely because when you break down the stats of um, Hadji to El Yunusi, he's got better balance, better reactions, better ball control and better dribbling. However, for what I've played out of the five games so far, Hadji's stats definitely don't lie, they, like, he definitely can dribble past players with ease and he's got agility and his balance was on point, nobody was like, nobody was really making him um, be difficult, it was always, I was making, the game was just flowing so easy and I'll be honest, maybe El Yunusi can do even better, that is the big question, I'm hoping, as I said, I'm hoping and praying I can get um, El Yunusi sorted out and get a review up because I will be honest, Hadji's going to take a lot of doing him to beat 
for at least from a fun element. That's why I'm saying it's worth it from a 9 out of 10, and all in all, three are worth 9, 10 out of 10. Um, definitely look fun cards. But let me know, folks, if you're going to go for Haji and you do or El Unusi. Smash like always, sub to channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter, the Legend, and I will catch you all later.